Oh, greetings everyone and welcome back to more Metal Gear. Okay, we should be up right. Okay, just checking my controls, make sure everything's good. Alright, so we have been captured. We gotta go find our Grey Fox and uh, rescue him. So, there's not really much you can do here. I don't think there's anybody you can do. contact. It's a solid snake. Respond, please. Metal Gear. Alright, let's see. Nope. Nobody's answered a thing. Basically, let's just put you know, long story short. You punch the wall. <laughs> I don't know. You must be a newcomer to the movement. I am I ever glad to see you. I'm an Agent Gray Fox. And the enemy is constructing the final weapon, the Metal Gear. Check something. My okay, good. I was like, what? Oh, God, sorry. Moving the window around. Sorry. Sorry. Sure. Stop it, game. Okay. It is a walking tank. It has full nuclear capability and can traverse any type of ground. If the enemy can complete this, they can launch a nuclear attack from anywhere spot on the Earth. Metal Gear must be destroyed by any means not available before it is completed. There is only one way to destroy it. The inventor of the Metal Gear, Dr. Petrovich, is the only one who knows. Dr. Petrovich is being held prisoner somewhere in Building 1. You must try to find him. So there's the first appearance of Grey Fox. Let's punch our way out of this prison. This is the worst goddamn prison ever if you just have to punch your way through it. Okay, so boss time. I'm the shotgunner! Nobody ever escaped from here. So he just sprays freaking buckshot everywhere. Guy hit me. Okay, that I've acquired all my stuff. <laughs> gear. Okay, let's see. So we handgun. Okay, there's a transmitter here. You wanna get rid of that? Uh, ba da ba! That's what I gotta do is just run up here. No, I can't hit you. Alright. Roll back over here. Just freaking shoot him in the back of the head. <laughs> what a douchebag! Alright. So now, come down to this room. I've located card number three. Now we got card three, baby. Bet. All right, let's go over here. So that's the prison sale. I think I gotta use card three for this door. Nope. No, nope, those doors. Okay, and those cards. All right, card four. None of these cards work on this door. Are you kidding me? Let's make it sure. Derp around. Okay, well, we're not going that way, then. We'll go this way. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of a trick I learned from speedrunners against a shotgunner. If you get up along your shadows, you just tap tap it ever so slightly down, and he can shoot you right in the back of the head, he can't hurt you. Because he doesn't know how to shoot behind himself, because he's dumb. Card three, yep. Hey, okay, pupper. Hey! Okay, and we'll have acquired the body armor. So we'll put that on. This reduces damage you take by half. We already need uh, a ration. I'm going to take one. Just because. Yeah, basically, if you're ever just walking around, keep the body armor equipped. There's parts later in the game where you're going to friggin' need it because these enemies will just completely just run ram shot over you. Especially if they touch you. I don't know what it is about them touching you, but if they touch you, you're done. You say if you use card two, you always get access to like an item. I've located the bomb blast suit. So now I can be Fat Man from Metal Gear Solid 2. Except without the roller blades and the stupidity and the dumbness of him in his entirety, because he's a dumb character. No one likes him. 
Nope, not going there. We got one more door to get. I've located some enemy uniforms. Metal gear. Uh -huh. Alright, so. Now we need to leave. This is the back entrance to building one. I got confused about this the last time. I, this is, to be told, this is not the first time I tried recording this. This is the second recording. Because the first one, I lost, I didn't forget to save my uh, progress or, and or write down the password, and I felt dumb. So! Ow! I ran into a landmine. It hurt really bad. Let's restock on health and rations, and we'll head down back into building one, because we still have to do some stuff there. Namely, uh, go rescue Dr. Petrovich. And then we get to listen to the freaking awesome goddamn music of this game. I should hit rank three by the time I'm out of building one. The nice thing about this game is you don't have to have max rank to beat it. Now, Snake's Revenge... On the other hand, you better, you best bet your butt, you better uh, rescue all them goddamn prisoners. So I need to head back down to where the, uh, am I maxed out? I think I am. Just, I'm not even paying attention. Where the uh, laser grid was. Because now I can get into all those rooms, and all those doors. And this has been like a week or so since I've last recorded this, and I'm trying to remember everything. I meant to do this all in one sitting, but I just didn't. And the last time I tried to record, I was dog freaking tired. Like, no sleep. But I have plenty of sleep. Uh, this will also be the final game that I will record using my old computer. So, there's that much to look forward to. The computer I've used for the last eight years. I finally put her to bed. Wait a minute. This is where God, you stupid. I forgot about the pitfall there. That's the second time that one's gotten me. Hold on. Shut up! Take this truck. We'll just go around the whole building. <laughs> just screw this mess. Sweet ammo. Ah! Okay. Keep hitting the A button to advance the dialogue and I'm like, crap. Well, at least I got my ammo back. I think wearing the enemy uniform would just let you, I don't know, walk in, you know, around all the enemy soldiers like, hey guys, what's up? No, it doesn't work that way. So we're done in this part, I think. No, wait. No, we're done here. Okay, I need to go up to the next floor. That's right. Nope, nothing in there. Doesn't matter. Go on the next screen. And just run for it. Yeah, a lot of this game is just run past the enemies. Like, you don't need to get, get on top of them, it's just whatever, you know? Alright, should be down here. Yeah, this is where they can go. 
Pedal away. Snake! Woo! Okay, we did get that. Shoot! I thought it was the other way. <laughs> okay, just re reset. Go up here. Crap! Ah, shoot! God. Spatch, you're being a complete douchebag here. Quit. I mean, you're not even being a douchebag, you're just being crap. Ugh! Just making sure I've gotten everything in this area. I cannot remember. I know that this is this is terrible. I should have played this whole game like one sitting so I remember everything. Okay, we haven't been in here yet. That was a close call. Oh, Dr. Petrovich is being held prisoner in a cell on the rooftop. I know, Gray Fox told me. Okay. Alright, well that's another prisoner we've rescued. That's good. We have not been here. Oh, it's Machine Gun Kid. Don't try to go any farther! This guy's a loser. I won't look in his room. What a terrible boss. Last time I did this fight, I did it like missiles, but then I was just like, you know what? I think I could get this guy by just leading the shots. And I'm like, yeah. Just lead a few shots, and he goes down like a box of rocks. Okay, and in this room we have the power glove. An iron glove. I think it's supposed to make your punches a little harder. But don't hold me to that. Think there's something to do in here with the iron glove? Don't, don't hold me to it, guys. I don't remember what you use this thing for, really. It just seems like there would be a secret there. Whatever. Let's move on. Yeah, you get a lot of the equipment that you're gonna be using for the rest of the game, like in building one. Because this is pretty much like the largest building that you go through. Ooh, these freaking key cards are annoying. There we go. Now we got the infrared goggles. Now we can see the uh, laser beams on the floor. Let's head up. Nope. There we go, now we've hit rank 3, now we can get out of this frickin' place. Oh, we do need to stock up on landmines. Oops. Oops. I think I can only carry up to 15, but yeah, we, we gotta stock up on these things. And we might as well do it when we're right here. hate where they're at right here because these freaking guards are in the way. Okay, done with that. Back to the handgun. It should be called the rifle in this game. <laughs> That's basically what you use it as. Ok. 
God! Frickin' anthill kicked. What's in here? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh good, it resets it. Ah! Carry 200 bullets now. Yeah, yeah. Rank three is like like essential. I think there's only four ranks, but we're about to head off to the next boss. We'll definitely get that done before this video's up. Actually, we should be done with, with uh, building one by the time this video's done. All right, how are we looking on explosives? Yeah, we're good. All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's head to the roof. That's our next goal. Body armor. It's time to head upstairs. Yep, we are done with looting this place. We've only got a little bit more loot to go. But we are now on the roof. Alright, what you got to say, boss? Big boss here. I forgot to tell you. There are window barriers installed on the rooftop. What he means is there's wind barriers. Search for a bomb, bla a bomb blast suit. Over. The words of wisdom of Big Boss. So basically, if you try to get up to the roof before this part, you just get pushed back. So you have to go get the bomb blast suit so you can equip it. So you can walk through here, and then you never have to equip it again. Anyways, what we need to do is go ahead and fight the boss. So the boss is actually this way. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, equipment. Put the body armor on. Oh, this boss is a douchebag. Isn't the boss down this way? I thought the boss was this way. I guess not. Alright, it was around the other way. I thought it was this way. I don't know, ignore me. Okay, I know he's down this way. Yep, because you got to cross these little swinging bridges, bridgers. And these aren't too terribly hard to deal with. It's going to take time. Oh, look out, buddy. Um, I think I need to go. These guys are glitched as I'll get out. Like, you'll walk up behind him, and he'll still spot you sometimes. Stay in the shadows. And equip the grenade launcher. Now this, in the PC version, is supposed to be freaking high in helicopter. Actually, I think. Yeah. That's not straight up fought these guys. But you just gotta use grenade launcher. And they can't hit you. And that's boss number three down. <laughs> Instead of some guys with some hover pads, like, shooting bullets at you off of gun dirt. It's like, what the frig is this crap? Alright, so he's gotta keep digging through the stuff. Is it too late for Dr. Petrovich? I don't know. Because he ain't there. Prisoner. That was a close call, but Dr. Petrovich has just been moved to building number two. Building number two is located about 10 kilometers north of here. 
Yeah, it ain't that far. Gah! Oh, shoot! What the heck is going on here? Ow! I don't know how he spotted me, but he did. Oh my gosh, this freaking game. All over a goddamn mind detector. Jace! Take no chance of this stupid freaking piece of garbage. That's freaking the most bold crap right there. Man, I was gonna be close to a couple of them rations. And no, there's no big boss rank or anything. Every Metal Gear, I don't I don't go for the big boss rank. I played it and I'm playing them to have fun. Because these games are so much goddamn fun. Even this old NES dumpster fire is a lot of fun. Because <laughs> this game is kind of a dumpster fire. Shut up! But it's fun. And you can have fun with it. And that's what makes this game so freaking entertaining. Okay. I'm ready on the trigger to pull up the freaking... Uh... Oh, I'm going to pull the grenade launcher and restock that thing. Uh, I was ready to pull out the... Uh... Transceiver in case there's a freaking oh what's it called pitfall popping up. I think it's funny because they're in Metal Gear Solid One and you basically just you just keep running and it'll never hurt you. <laughs> just run smack over. All right, I'm good on time. Yep, we're finishing up building one like I thought. There is just one more room down here. Let me remember what's in here. Yeah, we we aren't near done with the key card nightmare. It's going to get worse. Hey, another prisoner. Well, that was a close call. I'll tell you what. All right, so let's move on. Let's go back up here to this room. Put my body armor back on and get my bullet back that I fired by accident. Crap. Okay, got our bullets. Huzz up! Bang! Pow! Right in the kisser. Right. Me alone. Stow! Shot me in the back! Guys, enemies are being freaking ridiculous! Alright, I want to get get to building two, basically, so... Whee! Right. Let me think. Um... We go down the first floor. Oh, that's right, we go down the first floor and then go up north uh, entrance. And if you hear a bunch of bikes, uh, the weather's kind of nice out, and so the bikers like to go down to this restaurant that's actually not too far from my house. And it's just where I like to go and hang out. So they're kind of sitting at the intersection right now. I can hear them, and they're about to just floor it and either burn out or something come up their road. So here, a crap ton of bikes, you know, going nuts. That's what that is. Oh, I don't need equip. Mine detector. There's the landmines. You guys gonna go, or are you just gonna sit there and like think about going? See, so, yeah, I'm kind of in the process of building my new computer right now. Uh, luckily, the old computer case from my previous computer that started my YouTube channel 
Yeah, uh, I'm actually able to reuse that one because I've got a. I just basically went for like a cheap power build. And it's a small, you know, rudimentary motherboard. Hello, pickup truck. Hello, the pickup truck. But it's effective. It's very compact, sleek, ready to go. And the motherboard's bolted in perfect, you know, ready to rock and roll in that jump. I just gotta put in the uh, processor. I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna have to basically salvage out my uh, current PC. And actually, I'm looking at the front of it, and I see some bolts I can use out of the front of it for some stupid crap. Because for some reason, I can't find any of the old bolts for the old, P the old case. So I'm having to kind of scavenge and pull off of this thing as I can. Hey, for boss number four, the tank. Oops, I forgot. I gotta put the body armor on. Ooh, ooh, I'm about to freaking die. Back at the frig up. Tank destroyed! Alright, that's where I got as far as I got last time, and then I kinda I had a, a herder moment. There are the bikes. Wowzers, that's, that's a lot of landmines. Okay. Alright. What you got to say, big boss? Big boss here. It's a roadblock. Try to slip through wearing enemy uniforms. Switch big boss communication frequency to 120.13. Over. Let me write that down. Um, big boss 2120. What did he say? 13? I think he said 13. Well, first thing, enemy uniform. And these guys. Okay, here we go. Yeah, they won't bother you, and you can walk right in. Alright. We're on building two, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.